Yes, the footage you just saw is real. Yes, I am in fact sitting inside of my brand new, well, not brand new, brand new to me, but it's actually really old and used, my Toyota 4x4 camper. This is exactly what you see when you get into the camper. As you can see, there is more than enough space and it is quite old, but that is why I'm going to be renovating it and adding some modern touches. The camper itself is a 1986 Slumber Queen. Yep, Slumber Queen, as you saw from the sick decals, I'm now a Slumber Queen. I definitely want to do some renovating and touch-ups to make things look a little bit more modern. I'm probably not going to go as overboard as a lot of these new age sprinter vans and all the cool crazy vans that people are converting just because I want to get it done with and out of the way. Oh! Opa! Oh, there she goes! Now. Woo! I got a splinter in my butt. You got a splinter in your butt? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I can kiss it to make it feel better. <laughs> <laughs> When I purchased the Slumber Queen, I never really expected it to become what it is today. Now, I mean this in two different ways. First of all, I never imagined myself extensively renovating the interior uh, like I ended up doing. At the beginning, I just I thought that I was going to just throw some paint on the walls and call it a day. But obviously, once I got started, that evolved into something a lot more, a lot more uh, nuanced, and it really just evolved into the interior that you guys know so well today. Now, the second way that I mean that is I didn't anticipate how big of a part that the camper would become in both my channel and my life. Here we are a year, a year and a half later after purchasing the Slumber Queen, and it's really just become this integral part of my channel and as corny as this sounds it's become a big part of my life and who i am in general honestly honestly it's been it's been so amazing i've I've lived in it for a couple months this year. I have made more videos featuring the camper than not this past year and it's been great it's been awesome but sadly the time has come to let her go. The time has come to sell the Slumber Queen. Hello, Jeff. Hello. I'll miss you. I miss you. I miss you. There's Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. I miss you too, little buddy. Look at these guys. Spoiled with a heated blanket. <laughs> they deserve it. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Bye, everyone.
headed back up to Oregon today and I thought that I was gonna be down in the south for much longer. I thought I was gonna go out to Joshua Tree, maybe even Arizona. But alas, unfortunately I don't really I don't really have time to do those things. I've got I've got some obligations that I need to attend to back up in Oregon. So so I'm headed back. Oh man. If you guys have never driven up the grapevine and you've never passed these these huge farms where they keep mass quantities of the cattle they use for a lot of our beef, well, consider yourself lucky because driving by and smelling that, it doesn't exactly make you want to go get a hamburger, I'll tell you that. Can I get a, uh, a double double with animal fries? Sorry, not animal fries, I meant uh, grilled onions. Yeah, and then a normal fries. I know I said those cow factories made me not want to eat a burger, but when's the next time I'm gonna get in and out? In-N-Out was just as good as In-N-Out always is, but honestly, I can't help but imagining that putrid smell of the cow factories kind of lingering as an aftertaste. Maybe, maybe that wasn't such a good idea after all. It shouldn't exactly be a surprise to you guys that my relationship with the Slumber Queen has definitely been one of the love-hate nature. A lot of the time, more hate than love, and a lot of the time, more love than hate. But that's how all relationships are, even though this is a camper that we're talking about, an, in, an inanimate object, so I don't want to personify it too much. But you get what I'm saying. There's been times where it's just one thing after another is going wrong, and, and just I put in so much time and effort into everything involving the camper, and there's times where it has been extremely worth it and I've loved the camper and I've loved having it and it's been it's been a joy and overall it's been such a positive thing but lately as you guys have I'm sure noticed there has been quite a few new issues coming up so as you can see this whole area is really bad this is the worst spot right here there's even some mold growing already And honestly, it's the issues that are coming up aren't that big of a deal and I could easily, maybe not easily, but I could definitely tackle it and fix it up and make it, you know, tip top, pristine once again. But honestly, I'm getting to the point where I'm just fatigued. I'm kind of, I'm kind of just ready to move on and figure out the next rig because if you're somebody like me, you're constantly you're constantly thinking about what's next. You're constantly looking at other people's rigs and thinking like, well, that's really cool. Well, that's awesome. That that would be fun. So, I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly what my plan is, but I know that my time, my time with the Slumber Queen just feels like it just feels like the right time for it to come to an end, you know. But right now I want to be going out and doing like winter sports and fishing and camping and focusing on that stuff. I don't want to take on another project right now. Um, and that's kind of what the Slumber Queen is. It's just this ongoing project and I just don't, I don't have it in me anymore. In honor of Tessa's birthday, we're taking the Slumber Queen on the maiden voyage. Uh, just to be clear, we're just going on a trip. This is not the first day of me living in it. That's coming up soon at the end of this month. Hey! 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 Go up there, birthday girl. Oh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> ow. <laughs> it's been a successful first night in the old slumber queen, and it's a, it's a new experience, that's for sure. It's much different than what I'm used to when it comes to camping and truck camping, but it's really cool and I think I'm going to get used to it real quick.
Back to you old trusty slumber queen. Honestly, it's so nice having like a kitchen and, and lights while camping. Usually I'm like struggling with one light to like get good footage while cooking outside on my tailgate. And although it's, it's cool and it turns out well, it is a pain in the ass and having like actual lights in a stove and a sink. Yeah, running water. Running water, it's luxury. So for my last meal cooked in the Slumber Queen, I'm going to be making some chilaquiles. Now, chilaquiles is one of my favorite meals, and so I figured it would be pretty fitting to cook chilaquiles for the last Slumber Queen feast. I also normally make chips fresh when I do chilaquiles, but it's really late and I'm lazy. We're gonna crack some eggs right into here. Now I know the legit way, the legit way to do it is you do uh, fried eggs on top, but I kinda like it with scrambled eggs. So I'm just gonna mix it all up in here. This is like the camp style. Gotta load the chilaquiles onto the plate. The finishing touches. Got some lime, of course. Some avocado is gonna go right on top. I'm gonna be adding this cojita cheese right on top. Oh my gosh, we're not holding back on the cheese. Oh yeah, that looks good. The last, last meal that I will ever cook in the Slumber Queen. Not gonna lie guys, this is, this is making me really nostalgic. I'm kind of kind of get second guessing my decision to sell the camper right now. Enough of that, enough of that. Let's just dig in to these chilaquiles that look amazing and hopefully they taste as good as they look. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh.
before I got the Slumber Queen, I was never much of a DIYer. I'd never used tools to build things. I never did any hands-on projects. I never honestly really dabbled in that realm at all. And now looking back at it, I can honestly say that my decision to buy the Slumber Queen and renovate it was a very pivotal moment in my life. And it's really just become an integral part of who I am as a person. What I mean is, I now just have the confidence to take on projects and know, like, if that, if I have an idea, if there's something I want to do, I'm going to figure out a way to get it done. And it just, it's, it's really shown me that half of the battle with so much of what we face as human beings is just getting started because so often we're paralyzed by like, we always worry like, what if we can't figure it out? What if this, we're not going to be able to do this. And this camper has just shown me like, if you have an idea, just start on your path and try to figure it out because chances are you'll be able to figure it out. So for that, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. I will always have a special place in my heart for the Slumber Queen. It might sound cheesy and corny, but it's just, it's true. And not to mention just all of the practical things that I've learned through the process of renovating it, through the process of getting a truck and going through the whole thing of like getting the truck ready to hold a truck camper. Like so, so, so much goes into all of this that I would have never learned in the past had it not been for this experience. And not only that, but living in it for a few, you know, months out of this past year, that's been an incredible experience. That has also added to my confidence to know, like if I'm living out on the road, I can make it work. I can figure things out. I could live in an unconventional way and be successful doing it. And I've seen beautiful places. I've met beautiful people. I've experienced so much in this past year. And it's all just f coming, crashing down on me right now because I'm realizing that it's, it's sadly, at least in the context of the Slumber Queen with my life, it's sadly coming to an end. But at least I can look back on this whole experience and just have a heart bursting with like gratitude and just excitement because I think I've gotten everything that I need to get out of this specific camper and it's just it's time to move on to the next to the next to the next chapter of my life but I'm just reflecting and just thinking about how how amazing this has been how absolutely life changing this truck camper has been and I never took the time to look back and appreciate it all. But now that my time with the camper is ending, it's really all just so crystal clear. It's so, so apparent that the Slumber Queen is a part of me. And I'm sorry if this is sounding really corny and philosophical, but... Oh man, now I'm getting a little nostalgic. I <sighs> oh, can't believe it's done. But it'll never be done. It'll never be done because moving forward, it's only uphill from here, guys. Morning. <sighs> wow. Holy moly. It's gorgeous out here. Wow. that my first paella cooked on the beach doing it right let's dig in baby finally after all this time it's finally done it just doesn't it doesn't feel real like look at look at this it looks so good the fruits of all of my labor and money have come to fruition because this this is sick.
All right, that was a little excessive. It's the last time I'm ever gonna woo in the Slumber Queen. Not a bad last night in the Slumber Queen. I was about to spend the night at Walmart until I saw this spot pretty close by. And I am glad that I chose this spot. Pretty epic views to send off in the Slumber Queen. As hard as it is to let the Slumber Queen go, and as sad as I'm gonna be when it's gone, I'm a firm believer in the constant need to evolve. Yes, this camper has definitely helped me to grow as a person, but at this point I think that I just feel like I've reached the maximum threshold of what I'm going to accomplish with it. And really, it's just it's just time to let it go and give and pass it on to somebody with fresh eyes who's going to build it up and make new memories and experience new experiences in it, if that makes sense. Sometimes you just gotta listen to what your heart is telling you, even if in your head you can't really logically explain it. And that's kind of what's going on now. Now I don't want you guys to think for one second that the adventuring is going to stop. In fact, quite the opposite actually, I would say. A lot of the time, the blank slate is the most exciting adventure. The infinite possibilities that lie ahead, if you will. Now, I don't know exactly, I don't know exactly what my next rig is going to be like, but you best believe that I have my eyes open and I have been looking around. It might be another truck camper. It might be something more minimalist. I don't know. Whatever, whatever feels right when I see it, that's what I'm going to get but the videos will continue, the adventuring will continue. And now, one last bit of business to take care of. I actually, so at the time that I started filming this video and all throughout uh, my trip back up to Portland until just a short while ago, I thought that the Slumber Queen was already accounted for. I had a buyer who seemed to be very serious, but of course, like, you know, typical Craigslist business, they bailed out last minute. And so I am reaching out to you guys and I want to see if there's anybody out there who has any interest in taking the Slumber Queen in. Now do, do know that this, this is a project. There's water damage that needs to be addressed. There's things that just need updating and refreshing. So this isn't gonna be something that you just put on your truck and go. This is gonna be something that if, if you're somebody who wants a project and you wanna work on the Summer Queen, this could be a good opportunity. Now, if you do wanna come pick it up, I'm not, I'm basically whoever, whatever you feel comfortable paying in its con current condition needing the work, I'm pretty much accepting any reasonable donation, so we'll call it. As long as you have a truck that's outfitted to carry a camper and you could come pick it up here in Portland, Oregon, like as soon as possible, the camper will be yours. If you if you are interested in it, make sure to send me an email at buythesq.com. Buythesq.com. And do keep in mind, if you want to come get the truck camper, you're gonna need a truck, obviously. You're gonna need some kind of mounting points um, for the camper to tie down onto your truck. This isn't something that comes with the camper. Your truck has to have po uh, mounting points, either on the frame, that's the most ideal, or some of them have mounts on the bed or something like that. 
But just know, do, do your research, figure out exactly what you need to carry the camper. Uh, don't just expect this to be, you come pick it up, you have a truck and it's just, it's plug and go. You have to kind of make sure that you're set up for that. If this is, if this is calling you, if you want to take on this project, then that would be just super awesome to pass it on to one of you guys. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm excited to see what's next. I hope that you guys are excited to see that as well. It's only going uphill from here, like I said, so. I will leave it at that. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and you know what? As a way to honor and commemorate the Slumber Queen, give it a thumbs up either way. Leave a comment if you feel so inclined to do so, and just uh, enjoy the rest of your day. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own, live life, beat the status quo, y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Don't well, Tessa, that's, that's quite the concoction you whipped up here in the Slumber Queen. I expect nothing less from you. Hmm, let's try it. It's actually pretty good. Where's the woo? Woo! There you I'm go. Sorry. Oh. <laughs>